Hey everybody, and welcome back to another video. I received something in the mail today that I had ordered last week, and I'm super excited because I've been wanting one of these for a while. So let's get into it, and uh, I'll show you what I got. This is the Tokes 900, so uh, I think it's a 115 millimeter pot, um, and the reason I wanted to get this was because the two Tokes cups that I have now, one is the 550 and one is, I think it's a 325, I can't remember right off the top of my head. Um, they're both great. They both, I, I've used them both and I really like them, but I wanted something a little bit wider and I wanted something with a little bit more capacity. Basically with the 550, um, I'm able to boil two cups of water, which is good for dehydrated meals on the trail, but that's, that's basically it. Like I couldn't boil water for my meals and my coffee or hot chocolate or whatever. I couldn't boil enough water at one time. I'd have to, you know, take the 550 off the stove, refill it with water. And since I use an alcohol stove, um, you know, all that fuel is just burning up as I'm doing what I need to do to get more water and then put it back on. By that point, I might not have enough fuel in there to do, um, to boil the rest of the water that I need. And yeah, you know, you could add, I could add more fuel than what I need to just boil the two cups. Um, but I don't really like the idea of doing that. I want to just be able to put all the water that I need into one pot, boil all the water that I need for a meal and my coffee um, or tea or whatever I'm drinking all at once. That way I can conserve fuel and uh, it's just a faster process. So I went with the 900 because I know it's going to nest uh, the 550 with it um, and I know it'll, it's definitely gonna carry everything that I need um, for my cook kit. So here is the Tokes 900. Um, and I really like the size. This is obviously the first time I'm looking at it. It has the same great finish as the other Tokes products that I've seen and that I've used. Um, it has the locking handle right there. So when the, when the water's boiling, you can take that off. It's not going to flop down on you. Uh, it has the graduated markings in there. And it also has them on the outside as well. So 24 ounces, you know, that's three cups. So that's, that's perfect because like I said, now I'm going to be able to boil all the water that I need. The other cool thing that I, you know, I had thought of when I was uh, thinking about getting these or getting this, this pot was that um, I, so I used to bring ramen on all my trips. I love cooking ramen, but the, the problem is, is that I'd have to bring an additional boil bag uh, to put the ramen in, to reconstitute it. Uh, and it was just an extra thing. It was just an extra item. And I know it's not a big thing. It's not a big, you know, deal to, to bring an extra item like that. But it's just one more thing that you have to think about when you're packing for your trip. So trying to keep everything simple and find multi, you know, purpose or multi-use items, this is perfect for that because I can put two cups of water in here, I can put ramen in here, I can reconstitute it right over the alcohol stove as it's, as it's cooking, um, and it's big enough. It's big enough to do that. The 550 is not. Uh, and so I went, I think it's two steps up from the 550, so then they have the 750, I believe. Um, which is super popular. I know a lot of people use it. Uh, I just wanted something that was going to, like I said, do 
basically everything that I needed to do. It's not heavy, it's titanium, so it is still light. It's, it's uh, like I said, it's 115 millimeter diameter, so it's not a massive pot, but I think it's going to work really well with my cook kit, and I'm gonna be having a video um, about that once I kind of perfect it and, and see you know how everything's gonna to fit together. I'll show you what that is. Also, I have a trip coming up the end of September. Um, I'm hoping everything works out weather-wise, but we're going to be hiking up in the Pema Jawasit Wilderness. So there should be a decent group going, and I'm excited to try out some new gear. Uh, I'm really excited to try out the Tokes 900. I also have um, a couple other things coming in the mail, just some things to make the trip easier, I guess. I've got a couple little things from Dutchware that I have added to my kit. So hopefully everything works really well, which I'm sure it will, um, but it's gonna be my first time using it out in the field. So I can definitely give you like a first time setup, how everything goes together. Like anything else, the more you use it, the easier it becomes. So I've been kind of messing around with it, but like I said, I haven't really used it in the field. So I'm excited for that. Hopefully the weather's good. Uh, we have a backup weekend, but weather in New England is fickle. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. But hopefully we can get out there. And if we do, I'll definitely bring the camera along and show you um, what we've got going on. So I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and set this up with some water. What I'm interested in finding out is if I will be able to boil three cups of water with one ounce of fuel from the Fancy Feast stove. I don't know if it's possible, but we're gonna find out. If we can, that's awesome because it's really not a whole lot of fuel to, to use to get three cups of water boiling. Um, so let's find out. While that's priming, we'll get everything else set up here. light this stove and then uh, get the pot stand right on top of it. All right, we'll check back in a few minutes and see if we got a boil. Getting closer. Oh, you know, it's basically, that's boiling. That is a boil. You know, three cups of water off of one ounce of fuel. I am, uh, I am very happy about that. That's exactly what I was hoping would happen. So there you go, Tokes 900, one ounce of fuel, three cups of water to a boil. Look at that, there we go. That's not bad at all. That is not bad at all. Cool, all right. She's gonna run for a little bit longer too, so I think even in less than ideal conditions, 
I can expect to have pretty decent results off of just one single ounce of fuel. Not terrible. Okay, thanks for checking out the video. This has been the Tox 900. One more time. 375. 550. 900. <laughs> All right, guys and gals, thank you so much for checking out the video. Three cups of water boiled off of one ounce of fuel inside the Tox 900. Keep an eye out on the channel for that follow-up video uh, where I will go over what I'm going to be bringing on that overnight uh, hiking trip. I don't know what I'm going to bring, but I got to figure it out. So I'm going to do some thinking. I would like to hear maybe some suggestions. If you have a similar setup, what do you use and why? Please leave a comment down below. Please like the video. Please subscribe. I would appreciate it. You don't have to, but if you wanted to, that would be cool. I'm not begging. I just want to have uh, have a good time doing this, and, you know, I appreciate the feedback that you guys give. So let me know. What do you use? Uh, what do you bring? You know, that kind of stuff. But until next time, have a great day. Enjoy the outdoors. Stay safe, and I will see you soon.